talking about Blakely, and you said you were hoping to see the kind of consistent level of effort in practice. Have you seen that? Yeah, he's uh, he's been uh, well, you know what we've expected, what we expected of him, which is you know he can make the first defender miss just about every time. He con he's conscientious. He works hard. He's eager to play. He hasn't played football in uh, two years, so I'm eager to see him play as well. Can you estimate at this point how many carries he'll get? I mean, third guy? Uh, you know, no way of knowing. Would you play him? I mean, you're going to play him? Uh, we would, the, the plan is to play all of those guys, so uh, we, we think we're going to um, need every one of them to, uh, to do some things offensively. And, and we, you know, we have a couple packages where we're playing multiple backs, so you know that helps us now. We have you know three, four running backs, so we can play two at a time, which you know we've we all we, we wanted to do, you know, for the last three or four years. So we have that opportunity uh, this Saturday. That'll be exciting. Put a lot of pressure on, on the defense. What have you seen from uh, Corey Grant as he's kind of battled back from some injuries? And it sounds like they've been able to do more today. Yeah, he's you know, he's coming back. Uh, you know, he's a little rusty because he's missed a few days, a couple of days here and there. But um, he 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 too will have a role on Saturday. So it's going to be running back by committee, I would say, until someone emerges as as kind of uh, the leader of that group. How close is that to happening? I mean, obviously. Terrio's on the one line by himself. I mean, is he just the front runner, or is he pretty close to taking that position himself? Well, you, you won't know until we, you know, until we actually get out and compete against someone else. You know, Ontario has almost 3,000 yards rushing and receiving in this league uh, in the last three years, so he's a proven commodity. We know what we're going to get from, from him, and uh, we're going to ask a little bit more of him this year. So. I'm excited to see him, you know, in an expanded role. We're just uh, he's still going to do the perimeter stuff, and we got some a lot of new perimeter things that Coach Left brought in. So you know that that role is even expanded for him. But he's also going to going to run, you know, the inside zone and get inside the tackles. Yeah, um, you can take Lyman or Shakespeare as a walk-on to Lyman. Uh, don't know yet. Haven't made that decision, but uh, won't be able to take everyone that we want that we would like to take, but. They've had a great camp, and, and they had a great camp, and, and really has a great contribution to our team this year. So, uh, if not this week, then we'll definitely take a couple of those guys at, at some point. That's Lockett, the Rocket. Uh, Lockett, the Selma Rocket. That's what I call him, Selma Rocket, even though he's not from Selma. Uh, he's doing really well. You know, they're on the. You know, he's helping the defense and giving the defense some looks. You know, because you know, Clemson offense is really multiple, and, and so we need speed in a lot of different places. So they've been doing a really good job of that. Who would be your fourth guy? I mean, uh, figure it out. You know, we have four guys. So I don't know who who the fourth would be, but <laughs> it'll kind of work itself out. You know, that's where Corey is now. Okay. Just he's just not getting back. So. Number one will depend on who, who gets the most yards, who, who makes the chains move. So whoever that is, you'll see a lot of him. That's Corey or Trey or whomever. It's Trey back to full speed. I know he got back up. Yeah, Trey's ready to go. He's ready to rock. Thanks. Goldberg, you're easy today, buddy. That's Jay Prosh to do this for you. Jay has a, a, you know, brings a physical presence to our offense that you know we haven't had since we've been here. You know, from from that spot, he gives us a lot of versatility. You know, you'll see you'll see him uh, line up at a tight end. You'll see him flexed out wide. You'll see him all over the place. Uh, he's not just an odd fullback. He, he has a good he has good hands, and he's smart. So he, he enables us to move him all around the place. But at the end of the day, he's a smash mouth fullback. You know, who, you know, who will uh, take on any linebacker in this league. And he's gonna win his share, his fair share. I promise you that. Do you anticipate your backs being a factor catching the ball out of the backfield? It doesn't seem like they did a lot of that last couple of years, but well, you feel you know, like that's more part of the offense? No, we really didn't. You know, Ontario was the second leading receiver last year behind right, Emory. Right. But, I mean, he had, what, 32 receptions, I think. So uh, he's really worked really hard on his hands and, and uh, Trey as well. So, you know, we're doing a lot of things. We're really multiple. So you'll see us uh, do a lot of things, and you'll see those guys be involved a lot more in the passing game than we have been in the past. So. You know, Ontario may catch 40 balls because he, you know he's going to be in a position to do something. We're going to spread him out wide. We're going to have he and Trey back there together doing some zone read stuff. So, uh, 
we'll just see how it develops. But the plan is to have those guys involved, you know, in every phase of offensively for us. Is Kyle comfortable with those checkdowns? Oh yeah, yeah. You know, he uh, that's kind of where it starts for him because you know we got Lutz there and we've got our running backs there, so that's a little comfort. That's been a little comfort zone for him this uh, this fall. Uh, you know, you just have to wait until we get in the games and see if he's poised enough to, you know, make his reads and check it down when he needs to. But uh, I suspect he will be.